leftovers. So I'm going to go through my stuff. I got quite a bit and I got some things that I didn't go through last um, on Friday. And I also have some things that um, I did last month that I still have. So we're going to go through some stuff. So Better English, $3.00. How this works is you send me your order to my email address down below and when and I and a couple times a day usually I will update my description box to mark what to tell you what is sold. So better English is three. American speech is three. I just love these covers. Like I just love the textbook look. You know, I just love it. It's probably why I buy them all the time. <clears throat> so Three bucks for this. Two bucks for this one because look at this stankin' cover. Mm hmm So that one was American Speech. This one is The Tales of Guy de Maupassant. So you could just say The Tales of Guy if you want. Oh, nice thick paper in this. This one isn't old, but dude, it's got a cover. Um, Human Anatomy and Physiology. Three bucks for this one. And it has colored pictures from the 60s. And look at look at the head. Look at the brain pictures. Yeah. Or skull. I mean, sorry, really. So that's three bucks for the human anatomy. Um, I had some bunch of ephemera stuff. Actually, hold on. Let's go through this stuff first. Not a book. This is a picture frame. It's metal. It's not old or anything. And it doesn't have the glass. Um, I might have, I might have the glass. I might, uh, cause I still have a bunch of stuff. I got a whole bunch of picture frames and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I think I still have a bunch of the frame parts. Um, and this is $2. Okay. For this frame, this is a wallpapering book. It's a buck, a buck, a book. And I took it because it has these pretty design bits, you know, striped wallpaper, um, pattern. So it does have some things in here to cut out for patterns. A buck. Merchant of Venice. The covers, as you can see, had a little bit of something. This is two dollars. It is from 1905. Okay, and I mean it's it's been loved. It's seen some things. Has some pencil marks and stuff. But two bucks. The Tempest. Three bucks. And this one is from 1916. This one's in pretty good shape. Okay, there's like some stains and stuff on the pages. And there might be a couple of pen and pencil marks in there. Three bucks for The Tempest. Riverside Literature. This is Washington's Farewell Address. Well, Washington's Farewell Address. Webster's Bunker Hill Monument. And Lincoln's Address at Gettysburg. So you can just say Washington's Farewell Address. That's the thing that's on top. And it's soft cover from 1909. But these books are pretty cool. Two bucks for this one. This is The Cotter's Saturday Night and Other Poems. So you could just say The Cotter's Saturday Night. They're both, they both have pencil marks in them from the Riverside Literature Series. Um, this is a book. I needed the cover for it, so I took out the images. Uh, I took out, I kept some of the pages, what I should say. So it's $4 for these images that came from this book. Little rabbit. So it's got like these nice black and white and also these nice colored pictures. And it's obviously a Christmas. I didn't read the book, but it's obviously a Christmas book. So it'd be four bucks for, actually, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go two on this. I'm not going to go four. I'm going to go two. Two dollars for the fir tree. You could just say the fir tree or fir tree pictures or whatever. Daddy's girl. This pretty cover. Six bucks. This book, um, the cover is just wonderful. Back cover is just plain. But the spine and the cover, very Art Nouveau. You know what I mean? So then, the date on this. Oh, this one had no date. Yes, this one had no date. Okay. Suffer the little children to come unto me. Whew, that's some powerful shit. Helen's Babies. 
oh, Helen's Babies is also six. Okay. Um, this one has some illustrations and some thicker, the pages are thicker than Daddy's Girl over here. Okay, and it has some illustrations. And the year on this one is 1908. Helen's Babies. All right, now I will get to this bundle. This is a Christian bundle for $10, and I will show you why it is a Christian bundle. Um, I have this box, and the box is in rough shape, so that's why I put it in the bag. But I just love that little picture. And then there are some, um, you know, church things, Christian books, Bible hero stories, um, kids things. Like there's some kid magazines. A Bible storybook to color. I don't think, let's look. Has anything been colored? So if you want the Christian bundle, it's 10. And you can just say, you know, Christian bundle. Wonders. Oh, this was the book that I was, that I thought was really cool. Because it's like um, a workbook and some of it's been filled out, but it's in pencil. So you can delete, so you can erase it, which I do erase it. But I like this picture. And then this is what came in this book. They are Bible stamps where you fill in, you put the stamps where the picture is. So 10 bucks for this pack of vintage Christian paraphernalia. Okay. And this is going to fight with me all the way to the bank. Okay. Then I've got this vintage Christmas ephemera, and it's six dollars for this. I have two coloring. Oh, I have this beaded Christmas ornament book, and it actually tells you how to make the beaded ornaments, which I think is really cool. Let me see. Does it tell you? It tells you all the things you need, and it's funny because I had a box of all these types of beads. I had bought a woman's bead collection out one time, um, but. You can get this stuff fairly easily. There's a lot of websites you can buy those beads fairly cheap. And then this is a Christmas time busy book. And it's an older um, coloring book, activity book. It doesn't, um, you know, the paper is not acid free. The, they are perforated though, 1982. And then this is another little coloring book. And it's the same way. This one has a page, has a little bit of coloring done in it in a couple different places. Um, but it's still cool, and you can trace, like, even if you didn't want to use this acid paper, you can trace these images onto anything you want, so there's that. And then I have this envelope. I just, you know, I'm trying to use up the vintage envelopes I got, and in this is a whole bunch of stencils, Christmas stencils, and it's from Westfield, Mass. I know where that is. Um, so some of them are torn, but and some of them are torn but salvageable Merry Christmas and I have Happy New Year in here too like this one here you can still use this oh I guess you cannot still use this there is one there was one in here unless I got rid of it I must have got rid of it see there's Happy New Year there's the candle there's the tree you could put the snowman back together though easy enough with a little bit of tape and love so these are the stencils. There's also um, a little booklet of Christmas music. So you get that. And um, Christmas Carol pamphlet with lyrics in them, in it. So six bucks for the Christmas. Then I have some railroad slash travel ephemera because there was this ripped envelope. So this envelope is torn. But you could still use, you know, you could still use it in pieces. You know, you could tear it up. And in it comes a map of the North Central States. This is one of those, you know, AAA road maps. This is a AAA, um, like, uh, you know, it has all the information about your car. It has some map information of the Carolinas. Rails Across America is a little... Uh, comic book this is a, a letter southern railway systems to a school i'm assuming it says dear boys and girls 
Railroad Signal Talk. And this is some brochure, book page things about the Southern Railway System. So $10 for the travel ephemera bundle. Okay, I'm going to start putting, I might start putting together more different kinds of ephemera packs. Like if there's a certain kind you're looking for, go ahead and leave me a comment so that I can figure it out. Figure out what I can do because I've got a lot of like just random ephemera stuff. I got a lot of travel brochures from like the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Um, so this is $18 for this scrapbook and you could just say the scrapbook and it's full of um, magazine cutouts and catalog bits from I'm assuming the 60s and 70s. Okay, so they're not all they don't all they're not all full but you get quite a bit in here. So that's it for what's what has stuff and then this big this is like a big sheet um you know so for instance it's it's folded into quarters and then this back cover's got little babies so 18 bucks for the scrapbook so bicentennial coloring book i'm assuming anyway i think it was oh 1972 not quite but a 1776 coloring book okay so it's, you know, all of our founding fathers and all of their shenanigans. There were a couple pictures that were done that were done clearly by an adult or older child. So there are a few done. But a dollar vintage style magazine from uh, January of 14. This is also a dollar and it's got some really cool stuff in there. So a dollar for the magazine. I have an ideals, an autumn ideals for $4 from 1979. So this one is Autumn. Then I have Thanksgiving Ideals from 1978. Okay, so it also has some really nice pictures. Fall time. And then a Homespun Ideals from 1956, 72. 79 so homespun from 79 four bucks each um this is a map of the united states and a few states are missing so sorry but it's two bucks um you could you know alter the pieces and then make your own pieces to fit i guess i like the i just think they're cool looking pieces this is a picture frame, another one, kind of out of the norm, and this is $5. It's brand new, and it's pretty heavy. That's a heavy, it's a heavy frame. Um, it's from J.C. Penney's, so 5 bucks for that frame. Then I have two of these frames. This one is for a grandmother. This one's four. It says, a grandmother is never far from thought, ever near in love. And it's a Hallmark um, frame, and then I have a Hallmark frame for a mother. A mother's heart is a place where her children are always welcome. So I have those, $4 each. <clears throat> this is a House Beautiful from the six from 68, and it is $3. And it has a lot of, um, I just love the 1960s get-ups, you know. So 3 bucks for the 60s House Beautiful. Shove my pens over here, take a sip of tea. I have a ladies home journal from July of 61 and it has Queen Elizabeth and something got spilled on her. Um, and it's in some of the book. It is $3 for this magazine. There's still a lot you can salvage out of it. Um, so three bucks for the Queen Elizabeth home journal. This is a 1968 Saturday evening post. You can say, um, you know, the 68 post because I'm going to show some older ones too in a little while. So, Saturday Evening Post from 68. Um, this is a Life Magazine from 67. These are all $3 each, too, by the way. So, this has some fashion and some Kennedys and a Timex and all kind of cool car ads. Three bucks for this Life Magazine. I have got two Trash to Treasure books. Um, they are $2 each. And this one has things in it 
Uh, so, for instance, this one has things about cans, brown bags, bottles, card tricks, socks, <clears throat> boxes. So this one here has got a lot of cool things to do with that. And this is book number five. It's part of a series, so you could just say you want the trash to treasure number five. Or this one, which is number four. And this one has some um, holiday th things, kids stuff, flea market finds, gardeners, treasures, and all through the house. So those are the themes in book number four. Okay. So if you want trash to treasure, just say four or five. Two bucks each. Um, these are National Geographic books for children. Sorry, I'm trying to do this without making an earthquake. Um, so they are two dollars each, and this one is all about dogs. So you could say the dogs book if you're interested in this one. Dogs on duty. This one is wildlife. So this has got lots of cool pictures. Um, of just wildlife and this one is geo whiz and this one comes with a a poster which also has a map and this is a certificate and this just has a bunch of stuff about our planet so these are all two dollars each I also have these National Geographic books. I have mountains. This, they all have their dust jackets, and I'll show you underneath the dust jackets. Um, so these ones are $3 each. Mountains has a mountainous dust jacket, I mean cover, underneath that dust jacket. And it's just full of beautiful um, landscape, mountains, crazy people on mountains. There were some hot air balloons there. It's, it's pretty cool. So this one is Mountains into the Wilderness. Um, this one's my favorite one. If I didn't already have a cover planned for my tree journal, this would be it. Three bucks again. And this has a bunch of wilderness. Look at that. Where were those trees? Ooh, look, they have these cool illustrations. Look at that. That's beautiful. So you get a lot of stuff in these books. To use. So this one is Into the Wilderness, Trails West, which has this embossed um, cover of the men pulling a wagon with the ox, pulling them up, up the hills of the prairies. So this is cool. It's got a lot of neat illustrations, historical stuff in it. That one is Trails West. And this is the Sunset Coast. And you have a sun. So these are all $3. And this one has this neat yellow paper, which I think is fun. I love paper of different colors and fonts and, you know, finishes. I love paper. This one is called 500 Games for the Whole Family. It is $2. And it just has 500 games for the whole family. Okay. Um, teaching Units, The Ten Commandments. This is a dollar. And this hasn't been filled out at all. Okay, it's just um, children's workbook for the Ten Commandments. Um, Flash Wayback and the Time Sliders. One dollar. It says Flash into the 50s. So it's like a kid's magazine with a comic book theme. That's a dollar. This is $2 for the Better Homes and Gardens Quick Curb Appeal because it has beautiful frontages of beautiful houses and gardens and doors and doors and pots and doors with pots and windows and stairs and porches. Two bucks for the curb appeal. Um, these, I have a couple music books. This one is Music Play Every Day. And this one is $4. Oh, it's pinned. It's got a clip in it. I love the one. It's got the rusty clips. So this has got pictures and music in it, which is pretty cool. And it is from a long time ago. It's $1.25 when it was new. $19.28 on this one. There's the back of it. That one's a little bit thicker. This one is $3. Suitor's Note Spelling Book. You get a little piano pamphlet in there. 
And this is just note making. Look at that. How cool is that? Three bucks for this. And you will get where the Buffalo Rome piano solo. Da da da. With teaching little fingers to play for three dollars. All right, so you got this. And the buffalo is going to be with that. So three bucks for that. We have College Business English for four. And it's got some cool stuff like letter writing. And I like to cut out things like this. And I like to cut out things that look like forms in these books. You know, are you filling out forms? I don't know. There's stuff, I promise. There's somebody filled some things out in pencil in here too. So four bucks for college business English. This is a Greg workbook for shorthand and it's five dollars and it's the workbook and um, I think yeah there was like the first few pages had been filled out and all the pages I think they're all perforated so tear out what you want. I don't think anything had been torn out of it. So five bucks for the shorthand workbook. Um, a study guide economics for business for two dollars. I kept this for obvious reasons. Typewritten paper. And hey, look at that. Answer sheets. Um, someone That was someone's test. And there's some writing in here too, but perfect for collages. <clears throat> corporate, corporate finance and capital management. This is $2. These pages are freaking thick and terrific. Terrific and thick. So two bucks if you want some corporate finance books. Economics for business. <clears throat> so you have the study guide, and then this is the book. And you've got pictures. And you've got graphs and charts and forms and maps. And just cool stuff. Okay. So this one is three. So you can either, either have the study guide or economics for business. Either one. You could say like study guide for economics or um, the five little peppers and how they grew. This is two dollars and this is from 1951. This has, um, let me see, some of these books. Yeah, there's like some illustrations in here. Let's see if there's another one. Some of them have a lot. Some of them don't have a ton. So like we just went by one here. Let's see right there. So. Uh, two bucks for this. I just like these covers. And it's not very often you get a spine on these. These Whitman books in very good shape. So that one has a really good spine. This is a Robinson Crusoe. There's the cover. And then look at, look at that cover. This book is really cool. And this is $5. Um, the, some of the pages are coming out. But this was made... This version was published. 1924. And look at the edges of the pages. It's got all these illustrations, and they're, like, different throughout the whole book. And there's other illustrations besides. So this is a pretty cool book for $5. So there's the spine, the back of the cover, and the dust jacket, what's left of it. It is what it is. It's, you know, seen some things. I still have some old National Geographics from the 40s and the 30s. Um, the ones from the 30s are $4, and the ones from the 40s and the 50s are 3 So this one is from the 40s. I'm just showing you an example. I've got a ton, ton, ton from the 40s and the 50s. So if you want one. And then I have about 20, maybe 25 from the 30s. So this one is also from the 40s. It's got a lot of color and black and white. And then the ones from the 30s have a lot of black and white images. Then they have a lot of really nice illustrations, too. Um, these have been colored. These are photographs that have been colored, so they look, they kind of look illustration-y. Oh, I think this is the one that doesn't, go figure, I pick one that doesn't have a ton of illustrations. But some of them have some gorgeous illustrations. So obviously I'd send you one that has some illustrations in it, but this one is from the 30s. Next I have my planners. So I have two of these rainbow ones left for $4. You can just say rainbow planner. It is from the year 2022. I buy these discontinued planners to sell them as glue books. So it's four bucks for this. And this is the rainbow planner and all the pages are white, but very nice condition, very nice shape for glue booking. I have two of those left. 
And I have one of these home planners, Heart and Home. This is also a 2022. And this one is $5. And this one has nice thick paper. And it's like got all kinds of pretty pictures and illustrations on the months. Um, you know, so this one's got this one's got some gorgeous looking pages. So Heart and Home planner is five dollars. I have got the Art of Walt Disney. Yes, I did have one that I just sold at Janet's. Oh, I didn't even really remember that cover. Um, at Janet's live sale, this is six dollars. Um, this is not the same one. Renee sent me a book at the same exact book. So it's illustrations. Um, this is a fold out. Oh yeah, look at that big. So it's just the history of Walt Disney, and it's separated by these nice thick pages. So if you want the art of Walt, the art of Walt Disney, it's six dollars. Norman Rockwell, five bucks for Norm, and it's full of his pictures. Um, and he also has separated nice, you know, paper separating different sections out. And his illustrations are awesome. So five bucks for Norm. The Great Disasters. Now listen, I, this is two bucks for the cover. All right, the cover's awesome. I'm not saying that we should be dis, we should be arting with disasters, but you know some of the pictures in it, like um, some of these black and white photos are pretty neat looking. You know. So if you are into destruction, then this is your book. But I was in it for the cover. I didn't even notice the content until like way later on. Um, Jacques Cousteau's Diving for Sunken Treasure. I do not know what the cover looks like underneath this. Let's see. It's just dark blue. That's it. Dark blue. Uh, four bucks for Jacques. And it has illustrations of fish and... Um, I think ship stuff, nautical things. This is my last chance. This is my last shot trying to sell Jacques Cousteau, and then it's mine. So, four bucks for Jacques. Um, this is a Family Circle magazine, February 1961, for four dollars, and it's full of beautiful recipes and 1960s people and meat in a can. Four bucks for that for the Family Circle. Then I have these family circle books that are all going to be a dollar each. So this one is tag sale fix ups. And I just like, first of all, I like the paper quality is really nice. But then you get like these nice pictures, like the um, country style coffee table books, but smaller. You don't need that giant book. So this one's a buck for the tag sale fix ups. Um, simple decorating accessories is also a dollar and also has gorgeous pictures on a phenomenal paper quality. So that's simple decorating. Painting porch and patio. These are all better homes and gardens except for the first one, this family circle. But still, like, aren't they the same pretty much? So there's this one here. Then I have a magazine, a crafts magazine, which is a dollar. 28 Autumn Delights. And it's got some fun, oh, it's got templates in it patterns and it has some nice things in there crafts magazine you can say the crafts magazine for a dollar quilts for a dollar Ooh, comes with a nice big sheet of pattern sheet sorry that didn't make any sense a nice big sheet of pattern sheet um so this is the quilts magazine for a buck uh 101 projects is also a dollar and it has a bunch of like um, primitive looking country art craft stuff. A dollar for this. Donna Cooler's 55 country cross stitch patterns, $2. And this is full of cross stitch awesomeness. Look at this. I mean, this is just, cross stitch is so cool to me. It's so logical. You have to use such a different part of your brain. Oh, and the covers is pretty periwinkle -y color. So two bucks for the cross stitch if you want that one. And then this is Christmas all through the house. And this one is $3. And it is full of Christmas lovelies. So three bucks for the Christmas. Okay. And the cover on this one is the same thing. So you get this nice dust jacket and the cover is the same. Um, 
And I have a book of lunch here. This one here is called Main Street. A um, dollar for this. The year on this is 1920. And the book, you know, it's just a book. And then there's pictures. What was that picture? Let's see. Can we find it again? Mm -hmm. Can you show your ugly face? There we go. Um, it's a photo. So a scene from the photo play. So you're going to have a few photos throughout. But I just like that cover. Main Street, Sinclair Lewis. This is also a dollar. Um, Robert Stevenson kidnapped. Look at that cover, though. Like, that guy is for real. And that is very orange. Legendary classic. So this book is pretty neat. That cover is pretty cool. Uh, 1982 on that one. The Victory of Alan Rutledge is also a dollar. So I got it because I like this little church steeple on the cover. So you can do whatever you want, I guess, for the cover the title up, you know, and just keep the little square. Um, this is a kid's book, Toby Tucker. It's a Whitman book, and it's a dollar. So it's got these nice illustrations in it, and the cover is cute. So Toby Tucker for a dollar if you want that one. This one is Green Light. Green Light also has a cool cover because it's like in blue for some reason. And this one's also a dollar. And uh, it doesn't have any pictures in it. It is from 1935. Then I got Tarzan books. I got three of them. This is The Beasts of Tarzan. It is a dollar. It is from 1916. And this book has seen some things. It does have some illustrations in it. And it is like totally beat up in a beautiful way. Good collage fodder paper in here. A dollar for the beasts of Tarzan. A dollar for Tarzan of the Apes. Somebody sewed the binding, the spine back on. And I just love that look. I want to just take the paper out and use that cover and spine like that. Reinforce the spine from the inside. That would be lovely. Um, so the year on this one is... See, this one's like falling apart, which is lovely. 1914. And I don't think this one has illustrations. If it does, that's a few. And look at how stained up. Look at the grunge. Yes. A buck for this guy. And I have Tarzan in the City of Gold with this adorable cover. And this one here is two. I had it for three. I am going to bring it down to two. Um... This is like a nice, uh, you know, like a southwest looking color orange. 1952 on this one. And this does have some illustrations in it. You know, like right here. So, two bucks for Tarzan in the City of Gold. Um, so, I still have a ton of Saturday Evening Post from the 40s and I'm not going to go through every single one but I'm going to tell you the date and then you can pick which one you want based on the date okay so I think they're in order for the most part except those ones I don't know what's in order all right so we're just going to wing it I have April 14th of 45 and April 21st of 45, okay? So I'm gonna flip these around and stick them on the side here, I guess. Then I have February of 55. These are all gonna be $5, okay? $5. Um, Five dollars for the forties and fifties, okay, and four dollars for the sixties and seventies. So I've got a handful of them here from the sixties, okay. Um, Hemingway. This is March twelfth of sixty-six, February twenty-sixth of sixty-six. This is the Bicentennial Edition of 1976, July-August. January 1st of 66. April 9th of 66. May 21st of 66. 
July 2nd of 66, August 27 of 66, September 10th of 66, and November 19th of 66. So those are the ones from the 60s, and they are going to be $4 each. And then the 40s and 50s will be $5 each. Okay? So, back to the 40s and 50s. Let's just bring my whole stack over here. January 13th of 51. Woo, stop moving. January 20th of 50. Let me put this with my 50s ones here. May 12th of 45. June 2nd of 45. June 9th of 45. Ooh. That one's a little rough, a little rough shape. June 9th. Let me flip them over here. June 16th of 45. June 30th of 45, July 14th of 45, they're all 45, so just know that, August 25th of 45, September 8th of 45, September 15th of 45, September 22nd of 45, November 3rd of 45, November 17th of 45. Look at the little doggy. So those are what I have for Saturday Evening Post. The next two I have, I have Look Magazines. I got two of them. The person who owned this stuff, I bought out like an estate, but it was at an auction. Um, I bought out an estate's worth of books and magazines. So this one is um, Look Magazine from 1964, and it has, so this one is not $6. This one is $4, $4 for this one. And um, Look Magazines are similar to, um, you know, the ones we look at through life and time and um, Saturday Evening Post. And this one has a Norman Rockwell special, so the guy who owned this stuff was really into Norman Rockwell. And then this Look Magazine is from 1947. And this one um, is $5 for this Look Magazine. And it's got the same kind of stuff. So there's that. Those are the magazines. Now before I get going with anything else, I will, I'll move some, I'll bring some stuff over. Um, I want to make sure you all know about my Facebook group, which is down below. It is a crafting, it is a craft selling group. Um, it's called Creative Use, Reuse, um, Craft Supply Selling. And uh, this is Stories of My Home Folks, and it is $2. So I like the cover. It's cute. Um, I'm doing a giveaway at the end of the month for whoever invites the most people. So if you join my group and then get to inviting all your peeps and you do the most invites, then um, you will get an Amazon gift card on March 1st. Um, Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. This is another one of those with the cover, you know, the neat looking cover. And this has illustrations in it. Let's see. One isn't going to show itself. Look at that. Get some illustrations. Huck Finn. Um, this one is from 19, and the spine is a little, is a little rough on this one. Um, so this one is $2. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that not all of these were priced, so I'm just going to go along as I go. So yeah, join my Facebook group, please. I need you. Um, I'm trying to really build it up. Uh, that printer of Udell's, this will be four, four dollars. Um, I love that spine. So yeah, 
it's definitely worth going to. It's definitely worth listing some stuff. We got a great group over there. Uh, four bucks for the printer. This is, I love this cover, uh, Little Women. Five bucks for Little Women. And this book is just so cool. I like all the Little Women, all the versions of Little Women. There have been a lot of cool looking books. Uh, 18, uh, 1915 on this one. I have a couple of I have a couple of Louisa May Alcott books that I'm going to be listing in my Etsy store, so keep an eye out. Is Davis a traitor? This is a dollar. In case you need to know if Davis is a traitor, uh, it's a good cover. It's a good hardcover book with good guts if you want to do something with the cover. Um, the Spreading Dawn. This one's also going to be one dollar. Somebody put a bunch of newspaper clippings throughout the blank parts of this book so um like here look at just tucked in here so this book must have been significant to somebody or they were creating their own version of an altered book so there we go spreading dawn that's a buck the calling of dan matthews i just like that writing this one is also going to be one dollar um it was gifted in 1941 it is from 1909. So again, another good hardcover um, with illustrations in it. And the book block is coming away from the spine, but the cover is still pretty neat. Then I have got the Banner of Blue. Um, I'll do this one for $2. It is from the year... 1902 so ooh, really nice quality pages this is like high-end paper in this one okay the banner of blue that would be cool if you're gonna do something blue themed I'm just thinking because I'm gonna do something green theme the song of the cardinal two bucks for this one uh, 1915 if you like cardinals and you want to create yourself a nice cardinal journal in the winter which is when they shine the most against the pale background get yourself a cardinal book two bucks for that did i say two did i tell you two it was two brilliance from t dewitt talmage i had it for five i'm gonna go down to two on this one look at that marbly paper of uh, christmas 09 is when it was gifted this but this book has some cool stuff let's see when's the date 1893 on this and it is the the writing is like a tan color as you can see and it's got some illustrations on it so two bucks for the brilliance my phone was ringing it was my child soldiers of fortune we'll do this one for a dollar <clears throat> So this book is pretty cool if you just want a hardcover book and this page has already come out but it's still pretty neat then i have got this book here which is character and characters i'm going to mark this one for a dollar consider this a clearance clear out so uh, one illustration it looks like in the front here of this guy it was from 1912 so you could just say character and characters for that one for a dollar agriculture for southern schools seven dollars and this book is cool it's got bugs it's got birds it's got farming trees leaves plants kids charts it's got all the things seven bucks for the agriculture book um, last chance on my large, I got to move some books apparently, last chance on my large collector's books here. This one is New Country Collecting, and this one is $3, okay, and uh, let's look at the cover. White! So you can do whatever you want there. And there's cool stuff to cut out of here. 
um, you know, primitive style um, antiques and all different kinds of cool pictures and cool things that you can tear apart. Um, so three bucks for the new country collecting. And then this antiques book. Um, three bucks for the antiques book. If you're like me, I gravitate towards these books because I love to cut out the pictures. I love to fussy cut glassware, spoons, and pitchers, and candlesticks, and vases, vases, jewelry boxes, Dalton figurines, um, you know, teapots. I'm going to make a teapot journal. Furniture, furniture. I love furniture. All kinds of stuff. So this is three bucks. Um, and the cover just looks like this. So three bucks for the antiques book. Bible Adventures. Um, a dollar for this one. One dollar for the Bible Adventures. 1974. December of 74. January, February 75. So this is just a little magazine for kids. And nothing has been filled out. And then it has this little thing in the middle um, like a little extra magazine. So a dollar for that. These are little decorating books I got. So um, I have them for two dollars. I'll do them for a dollar each. Decorating your child's room. Might as well just leave the pen up, the lid off, huh? Because I'm changing all my prices. One dollar on decorating your child's room. One dollar on decorating your living room. These are from the 70s too, by the way. So this has got black and white and some colored pictures. Okay. Uh, this one might be this one might be the 60s. I think there might have been. Let's look. 68. Yes. So that's the decorating your living room. And this one is all about furniture. One dollar on that one. So black and white and then some neat colored photos. So this is all about furniture for a buck. I have this that somebody put this angel paper on. It's missing most of the book. I have it for six and I will do it for two. But it's old. I'm going to say late 1800s. And it is religious content in this book. But somebody put this angel cover, this angel contact paper, something on there. So look, they, they made their own book cover. Check it out. So two bucks on the angel book. Uh, Phantom Future. I had this for five. I will go down to two on the Phantom Future. So this book is pretty cool. I just like the size. It's just a nice little size. And I like the cover. It's from 1899. Laddie. I'm going to put this one on for a dollar. It is from 1913. Look, we got a colored, we got a colored illustration there on a horse. Look at that. I don't know if there's, the paper's like thin. It's really nice to just flip through it. Laddie for a dollar. Fur, um, crochet and knit projects. Sorry, y'all. I got a sip. My throat hurts. A um, dollar for the fun fur, crocheting and knitting projects. Okay. One dollar. One dollar for this baby. For this sweet little girl in her total fun fur get up. Uh, contemporary decoupage. Um, this was not for me. But I will do this one for two. Okay. And uh, it has just got a cool ideas on decoupaging anything. They are doing a vase, a tray, a pot. Anything you want. Decoupage. Two bucks. The cover underneath is just like a cream color. I spy with my little eye a children's book with all kinds of cool things to cut out. I love these books. I used to lo I used to love these books when I was little. I would go through them. So this is cool if you want to cut some stuff out. A buck for the I spy book. I have not found any at any thrift stores that are in any decent shape. And this one's no different. It's some pages are torn. The only difference is this one isn't. The pages aren't all scribbled in. Like most of them that I find are all scribbled in. So a buck for I Spy. 
And then they, they, these weird things. I have these two bed caddies. All right. I have one in green and I have one in white. And I would go a dollar for each of them. They look like... What, 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 what? It looks like this right here. So I would go a dollar on the bed caddies. Okay. You could just say white or green. And any dirt and crud is on the packaging. It's not on the caddy itself. A buck for those. Now, I am also selling hymnal packs. They are $4 a pack. And with it, you will get 20 folios from various hymnals. Okay, probably five or six different books. And then I included five loose pages in the middle of the folios. So you get a lot of pages um, with these with these packs when you count the folios. That's 45, 45 individual pages um, for four bucks. Then I've got my Mega Ephemera Kits. Um, I started taking apart those 1970s Life magazines because a lot of them are kind of rough, so I just started disassembling them. So you will get two of the folios, I'm sorry, three of the folios from a Life magazine. Each one has a giant package of miscellaneous ephemera. Um, it's like six ounces. There will be some hymnal pages or music book pages. You get some little postcards, some old ones, playing cards. Um, this is a recipe card. Look at how cute the little recipe guy. Um, some textbook pages from one of my antique math books. Um, everyone will have a full work basket magazine from the 60s or the 70s. You might see the 80s. I don't know, 60s or 70s. Um, folios and pages from the readers that I have. This is a map. Everyone will have a map. Some of them will be road maps. This one here, I think, is a lake map, which happens to be of Lake Michigan. Uh, so this is an aeronautical chart of Lake Michigan. Um, I had these antique, I had an antique map atlas um, book, and it was the pages were all tearing and really brittle. So there's just pieces of those in there. Why am I moving this stuff? Uh, you'll get some yearbook pages, yearbook folios, and they're all guaranteed to have portraits and some candids, um, some old dictionary pages. This is foreign text. Um, these little receipts. And uh, some stationary pages that I have, just random and some flashcards, some more playing cards, and some milk caps. So that is $15 for the Mega Ephemera pack. There are a lot of pieces in these packs to play with. And I've had a lot of fun putting them together. And I think you will have a lot of fun playing with them. Next, I have Wind, Water, and Air, which is going to be a dollar. I'm going to change that price. So wind, water, and air is a dollar. The little princess. It is about Queen Elizabeth when she was a princess. The cover is really neat looking. Um, and you will have, there are black and white pictures in it. Oh, look, you get a little, get some little ephemera about the book. Um, so the princess is a dollar. This is cool, especially if you like Queen Elizabeth, because like I have that magazine that I'm sure there's some Queen Elizabeth stuff you could use in it, you know, even though it's kind of stained. So you could get the print, the book and the magazine for like, what, five bucks. Um, this is a dollar. So well remembered. Good hardcover book if you need a hardcover book for something. One dollar for that one. The Magnificent Century. This is about England. Look at the cover. has got a lion on it. I have it for four dollars. I'm going to go down to two. Um, it has, let's see, the the edges are all what is that deckled? I guess when they're when you can't flip through them very well. I thought it had pictures. I guess it didn't. Um, so we'll go a dollar. We'll go one dollar on the Magnificent Century. The Audubon Book of True Nature Stories. That is the cover. This one is $3. Oh, I keep writing on the wrong side. 
Nope, nope, I didn't that time. Three bucks for this one, and it does have illustrations. Beautiful black and white illustrations. Um, birds. Gorgeous things to cut out of nature. Lots of pretty birds. A rabbit. A little girl. And then they get like this. The guy's like, whoa. So, yeah. Three bucks for the Autobahn. Battle Cry is a dollar. Um, another just good hardcover book. This has a picture in it right there. Yep. Um, just another good hardcover book. Battle Cry, one dollar. The Man in Lonely Land. This one too will be one dollar. And it's embossed. The cover is embossed, so you could just cover up the words and keep the little embossingness. Um, and the pages in this are really nice and thick, like if you wanted to art on them. Then I got these little kids' books left, $2 each. I have Lambert the Sheepish Lion, The Sword in the Stone, and Bambi Grows Up. And they are all in really good shape. There's no coloring or writing in any of these books. Um, and they are $2. Lambert the Sheepish Lion is in the roughest shape, and it's because... The cover and the inside pages are just dirty. But that's okay. We like dirty. This is a book called Talking to the Sun. And this is a dust jacket. And the cover looks the same way. So Talking to the Sun has got awesome pictures, art, um, you know, from famous artists. Stuff I just love to cut out. So um, Talking to the Sun is $3.00. It is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I did not know. I did not see that. And I've got two Barbie magazines left for $4 each. Barbie Bazaar. The Barbie Bazaar. Um, August of 01 and February of 04. So they've got vintage. Each one will have like some kind of vintage Barbie doll. And modern and just different style dolls. Which is just awesome. So that's the August and this is the February. Four dollars each for the Barbie dolls. All right, y'all. The last few things I have for you. I have some packs. Um, this is a bird book. Um, seldom seen birds, and it's glossy, but it does have some nice birdies. All right, so this one is three dollars. For the birdies. Birds. Three bucks for that. I have this dot matrix. This like mini dot matrix label paper. This one is uh, not included. It's got. It's a little yellow. But I can take it out. So you got to cut the individual label out. But um, it's three sheets for a dollar. Three sheets for one dollar. Um, next, I have my Tags, Tickets, and Cards pack, if you're new here. I make these every now and then with a variety of Tags, Tickets, and Cards that I have available. And this is $10 for the Tags, Tickets, and Cards. So you will get these clothing tags that I have in this envelope because it has little needles. It's supposed to fold up. They're all for a size 4. You get 10 of those. Um, you get one of my invoice pads, which I have the invoice pads separately also for $1.50 each if you want just this. You get Rolodex cards. You get some claim checks. This is a dot matrix, little itty bitty dot matrix paper too. You get a couple of those. You get some game um, scorecards, more claim checks, some invoices from a local food mart that closed down, and you get the yellow and white copies get a handful of those this is vintage lined paper that went into this little planner style pad um, you get some library cards in blue these blue ones are pretty old and you get the white ones you get a few of those alterations alterations those are front and back this is a repair tag and this is a layaway tag 
get a few guest checks, five or six of those. You get some card catalog cards that are filled out, and then you get some in this yellow that are blank. You get tickets. Um, you get this dot matrix Rolodex. You get two sheets of that. You get blue. These ones, these are pink. They're old. Green, light pink, white, red, different style of red, yellow, green, and a different style of blue. And you get all of this stuff for $10 for my tags, tickets, and cards pack. Okay. And they're a huge success. People love them. I've got five or six of them left. Um, next, I have my scrap packs. These are just scrappy packs. I have music. I have dictionaries. I have um, scrapbook paper. I have die-cut negatives, um, you know, of plants and whatever. This is just scrapbook paper. Um, I have die-cut negatives and painty papers. I've got painty paper scraps in here. Um, lots of stuff. Every one of them will have one of my little heart scraps, the negatives. Um, and just lots of collage and, and masterboard fodder. And these are $6 a pack. And they're pretty stuffed. There's quite a bit. Whoa! There's quite a bit in each one. Okay. Sorry, I'm like really earthquake in here. Really not good today with the camera. I'm going to flip these backwards so that they'll slide in without getting caught up. Six bucks for a scrap pack. This is large book, book page soup and in it. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the blank form soup. Blank form soup in this nice interdepartment envelope. Um, this is $8. I'm doing $8 for these. You get that. This is a folio. You will get some of these ledger sheets from uh, an accounting binder. Um, you will get stationery, um, a couple of different sunsets, okay? You will get some kind of scrapbook paper. You will get one of these teacher record pages. You will get this celery, it is called celery paper, um, which is a, a resume sheet. This is a stationery. It's actually tinted on both sides. Um, this is a space, a divider, and this is a divider that's a little bit thicker, so you get some dividers. You will get these blank invoice sheets. Um, this is engineering graph paper. You get a couple of those. You get regular graph paper. You get this style ledger book. You get some of my deli paper that, for some reason, has words on it. Um, you will get... This is for this is four postcards, postcard sheet, um, another stationery. There's two sheets there. What am I? What am I missing? Ooh, two sheets of that stationery. Personnel forms. This is called a personnel form. It's a card, and it's thick. This is a this is a resume paper, and it has a watermark in it. Another piece of watermark resume paper. What's it say? Oh, Southworth. That's the br brand. You get some of my dyed music sheets. Um, this is one of those ledgers. It's like a different, like a diary style. And you get a couple of those folios. These are circle stickers. Um, I think they are two inches and you get two sheets of that. So that is $8 for my blank form soup and I call it that because the majority of the stuff in here is blank. They are blank forms for the most part so I figured I would name it as such and try and flip all my pages the right way. And um, then I have two different book page soups. Um, the first one will come in this interdepartment envelope and it's the large book page soup and you will get a National Geographic map um, this is like a seven language um, dictionary you get some pages of that you will get some kind of little booklet whether it's a little cookbook this one is about herbs it's 
got cool green writing on yellow paper. You will get some hymnal pages. There's a few folios there. Some different dictionary pages. Um, this comes from a literature book, and the paper is really nice. And, and when it dies, it's like really nice and crunchy. When you Not when it dies, when you dye it. You will get some botanical plant pages. This is French, a French book. This is um, diction, uh, encyclopedia from the 50s. Um, this is a German-English literature book. You get a bunch of those pages. This is a Korean book. I think it's Harry Potter in Korean. You will get some pages from some National Geographic nature books, mostly birds. This comes from some kind, it's like a certain kind of almanac book. It tells you all kinds of stuff. It's got cool pictures. More National Geographic books. Um, these really nice plants on here. Get a few folios of that. Another style encyclopedia. Um, more plant books. This comes from a book about San Francisco. This page here. This comes from an art catalog that you can order fine art. Um, this also um, an art book. Um, larger dictionary page. There's a few folios of that. And these come from a um, a large coffee table book I have um, about country living, I think, living in the country. And then this is a different book page soup. It has some same, some of the same, but a lot of different stuff. Um, these are just little pieces of book page. I had tried sewing them together, but these pages are really old, so it didn't they didn't sew together too well. These are from a Michelin book. Um, it's from Italy, but it's like all different languages. Um, pages that I cut the borders off of for collaging. Um, this is a zip code book. Some more of that really nice thin paper. Woo so you get a, some of that. More just regular book pages. Different kinds of book pages. Um, coins. This one is $7 for this pack. Okay, so this is the smaller book page soup. Even though it's not smaller, it's just the package is smaller. But it's 7 bucks because I got a lot of these. So dictionary, bunch of dictionary pages. You have a bunch of cookbook stuff in here. Each one will have some cookbook stuff. Um, this is the rest of that German book. Uh, plants and plants and plants. And dictionaries and math books. This one's like, I don't know, freaking trigonometry or something. You will get some um, phone book pages. You will get some Sears and Roebuck catalog pages from one of those reproductions. Music pages from a kid's um, music book. And some story pages from a kid's storybook. So... This is what I call the smaller book page soup, even though, like I said, it's not smaller. It's just not in an interdepartment envelope. Um, so these are seven. The interdepartment envelopes are eight for either one, the blank forms or the book pages. So send me an email down below what you want. Join my Facebook group down below and invite people to it so that you could win. Woo! Just ripped that envelope. Um, so you could win the giveaway of an Amazon gift card. Invite everybody. The more people that show up because of you, um, the more likely you are to win. And it tells me who invited people. So if I'll see who you invited. But yeah, join us. It's a lot of fun. Let me know what, Let me know your order. Ta-ta for now. I want to show you the kits I have for sale. They are little golden book kits. And I'm going to give you show you an example of what the kit consists of. So what you get, I'll grab this one. These ones are sold, but I'm just gonna show you what's with it. So um, you are going to get a bunch of ephemera. You'll get 15 pieces, um, probably more. So, you know, tags, I have some book page pockets, postcards I dyed, some little papers. Um, these are stickers. This is a little leaf embellishment. This comes from a report card or grade score book. It was really old. 
Um, this is a, a form from a bank. And then you get 15 actual pages or more. I have a ton of paper, so I'm trying to get rid of it. So this is just an example of some of the paper that you would see. Okay. And this is just the, the paper and ephemera part. And then I will show you the little bag of embellies. So you get a bunch of scrapbook paper. I cut my scrapbook paper um, six by six. It is a little bit smaller than the book, but I don't waste any paper this way. And I try very hard not to waste any paper. So those are those are the embellishments there. These are some things that I couldn't put in kits because like, look at this, has got some kind of crud there. So yeah. then you get this whole bag of embellishments. Um, you might get some paper clips, some butterflies, there's die cuts in here, there's sequins, but also I give you two book rings so that you can make the journal. So you get this whole book. I, I got little charms with bulb pins. Um, I, I just have a ton of stuff in these little baggies. So it is $12 for the, the kit, okay? And I am going to tell you which books I've got here specifically to make into kits um, Snow White uh, I have two of these Snow White books so I have two Snow Whites Woody the Woodpecker okay Woody the Woodpecker um, Pussy Willow she's so pretty I love this little book um, Little Golden Mother Goose I love anything Mother Goose. I love all the nursery rhyme things. The Circus is in Town accounting book. And I mean, none of these are super old. We're talking like probably it's, all of them are probably from the 70s and 80s. This one is A Visit to the Children's Zoo. Whales. Which involves a whole lot of whales and other ocean critters. Old Mother Hubbard. Alice in Wonderland. So I've got a lot of pages to use for these kits, you know. Um, here's the other Snow White book. I'll put them at the, I'm at the bottom with the first one. Home for a Bunny. This one's 1961. And colors are nice. This one had a little bit of coloring on it on that one page, but that was it. I don't I didn't there was no other coloring. So 12 bucks a kit and you get all that stuff plus the little bag of goodies and you can make your own little golden book journal. So just let me know which one you want and I will put it kit together for you.